My name is Dr. Neri. I'm a veterinary surgeon from uh, Ramat Hashem Veterinary Center in Israel. And I'd like to speak to you today about ear mites in dogs and cats. What is an ear mite? An ear mite is an insect. It has eight legs. It looks like a spider. And it lives in the ears of dogs and cats. It uh, eats the skin of the ear and it discharges the black, black uh, discharge that dogs have in their ears. What are the signs of dogs and cats that have ear mites? The first sign is the dog and the cat are very itchy. They either scratch their ears or move their ears. They try and touch them with their legs. Their ears are red and very often they are very smelly. The, the, the dog seems to be quite painful, the cat, when you touch the ear when they have ear mites. If we think they have ear mites, bring them to the vet. The first thing that we're going to do is to look inside the ear with an otoscope. And this is the way we do it. We have this machine. We look inside the ear in this manner. And the ear mites look like small white things moving about. If a dog or cat have ear mites, it tends to spread from dog to, to a dog or a cat to a cat or vice versa or from a dog to a cat via close contact. The way to treat it is by three ways. You can do it either one of the ways or the three ways together. My uh, preferred way is a ointment called Canual, which is special ointment against uh, ear mites. And you apply four drops twice a day for seven days. In this manner, one, two, three, four, and then you give him a small massage. The other way is with a thing called Advocat, which is a special um, material against fleas, but it also works against uh, um, ear mites, like I said before, they're called autonectus cyanotes, and you apply it once a month along the back. Looks like this. The last way to treat mites is via injection of a thing called Ivomet or Duramectin and it's only done once. You can either do all the three together or just one of the things. Ear mites are the, the number one cause of uh, infection of dogs and cats and it's very, very annoying for them and it can cause severe infection and big discomfort. So it's very important if you feel that the dog is not right, the cat is not right with the ears, bring them to the vet. I hope I managed to, to explain about ear mites. Thank you very much, Doron Neri Veterinarian. Thank you.